Good news, everybody. Elon Musk is going to start his own AI game company. Now, I'm not exactly sure if that means the AI will be generating the games or if AI will be assisting in the coding or if the whole product itself will be made out of AI. There are plenty of companies right now working on the technology that you and I could just type in some text prompts and away we go playing the uh, uh, Super Smash Brothers, but everybody's a Care Bear or everybody's a Pokemon. Wow, that's Pokemon Stadium. Never mind. Anyway. Elon's putting together his own game studio and will probably come up with something more creative than what I just pulled out of thin air. But why did he do that? But why did he do that? He says, too many game studios that are owned by massive corporations. XAI is going to start a game studio to make games great again. Now that seems nice. It's a little out of the blue just to drop that at 10.55 a.m. this morning, just a little bit ago here. You might be wondering why he did that. Well, a couple of days ago, Elon tagged in um, the head honcho, very important person over at Microsoft that is in charge of uh, Obsidian Games, if you will. And so they, uh, they had a statement here, and he says, this is illegal from, from uh, Elon Musk. He says, this is illegal. And of course, Ian Miles Chong has things to say here, and Smash JT points out, the fines required to be paid are too low, no matter, uh, no, to matter in the grand scheme of things, we've found the problem. I'm not so sure it's fines. You'll have to let me know, though, because you'll have to wonder why uh, Elon did that, right? You're like, wait a minute, why is he trying to get this person in trouble with their boss or something like that? Well, the reality is, is that this person said this, okay? So as the art director at Obsidian Entertainment, Microsoft owned, all thoughts are my own, which this is, uh, this is Matt Henson. This is Matt Henson, the art director here, and he's explaining he's got his own thoughts. I doubt that. But uh, what's cool is he has his own uh, like uh, uh, email there. It's m at matthenson.com. Now, that's don't bother him. Please don't. That's not. I only read that because that's just goofy. Like you have your full name there, and then you decide that, oh, yeah, I made my website my name. I need to make my... <laughs> My email address at my website is named after me now. Uh-oh, what am I going to call myself? Yeah, clever. You'll note the pronouns. You note the pronouns. So you know what we're dealing with. We know what we're dealing with. And he makes this curious post below. He says, reminder to black artists out there who are looking for portfolio reviews or job advice. My DMs are open and you will always have my priority. We got too many crusty white dudes in this field. Please let me help you replace me one day. I want to go back to living in the woods. I don't think so, Matt. I don't think a little fruitcake like you is going to make it in the woods. You're a little zoo animal, buddy. So it kind of uh, digressed from here. Uh, of course, you know, we got Asmongold re reacting to it here. It's, you know, his stream is aware of it. And it kind of uh, sort of uh, spiraled from there. You do note, though that there is a name here that has the arrow next to it, and that name right here is Josh Sawyer, okay? Now, Josh Sawyer, as you may or may not know, is an American video game designer. Wow, how interesting is... Oh, wait, he works for Obsidian, and what does he do there? He's a game designer, and he's behind games... Uh, let's take a look over the slide. So he has Icewind Dale, Neverwinter Nights 2, Fallout New Vegas, Pillars of Eternity, Pentiment. Yep, and that's what he did. That's what his work is. And that's, there you go. So he signs off on this. You've got two employees at Obsidian that are like, yep, these white folks, they gotta go. We, we are the white folk and we gotta go. We gotta get out of the way. We gotta train our replacements and head them on up and move them on out. Right? That seems to be going well for them. So what you might be wondering, though, is what kind of kicked off a bit of this discussion. And so where it got started here is that someone played uh, the Avowed game for about 20 hours. And then they pointed out here that there are pronouns strung throughout the whole thing. Grums responded to that by saying that he didn't want to endorse playing games that have pronouns in them. As you can see right here, he says, I'm drawing the line. I'm rejecting any game that has pronouns in it. And you, you grammar Nazis know what I mean. Stop being stupid. And so Matt Henson has this to say in response. He says, sickos.jpg. I wanted so badly to make him mad with my game. I cannot believe it actually happened. Just wait until you see the default, you sad little poop. 
And then he says, anyway, Avowed comes out on February 18th of next year. Give it a whirl if you ain't afeard of the woke mind virus. I am, actually, because the woke mind virus caused riots in 2020, and those riots got very violent. So yes, I do worry about that, that Matt. That was you. That was your people. Mm -hmm. We remember. I remember. I won't let people forget. You want us to forget, but it's not going to happen, Matt. We're not going to forget. We know what you did. We know what you rooted for. We know what you're rooting for, Matt. So again, he, he's decided to, you know, oh, yes, this is so good, so great. Now, you might be wondering, oh, yeah, well, he can't act like that and expect to keep his job. Psych! I don't think Matt's going to have a problem keeping his job. In fact, I think he might end up with a promotion with this attitude. It seems to be that Obsidian Studio is obsessed with politics, of the day, rather, not the politics in their game even. They're obsessed with politics. And, also, chasing off customers. Let's not forget that part. That's a pretty big part in this whole equation, is that by doing all of this and letting it get around without Obsidian coming out and saying, I love it, you crusty white people, I have no idea what, what Matt's on about. He's, he's crazy. He gets a granola bar into him, he just goes nuts. Something about his sugar. Yeah, something about his sugar. Anyway, we hear Obsidian, we uh, want everybody to work here because uh, we have work to do and we need people wherever you come from and whatever you look like. But they didn't do that. They, uh, they stayed quiet. So here we are. Elon has launched a game company and with Elon's track record, that's going to change everything possible about gaming. You think Nintendo's revolutionizing things? You think PlayStation and Xbox and the PC are revolutionizing things? You wait till Elon decides to put out these games. We will be experiencing great stuff because this is what Elon does. He finds the best talent for it, and he finds people that are dedicated to it, not just there to cash a paycheck or have a status to hold over other people. I'm sorry. Talking about these SJWs give me indigestion. Do you have, a, you have a remedy for like feeling like you need to puke when you're talking about these SJW people? My stomach just flips like it's in a dryer or something. Just thump, 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 thump. Every time I have to talk about these people. I mean, look at this picture. Let's just get up on close here. This seems like a real example of what a human being might look like. Yeah. All right. So we have, uh, we're playing with props. Most of us have never held a sword or a gun in our lives, fake or otherwise. This one, hmm, how about that? I don't know if we could show that on YouTube. You'll have to wait and find out. That might get a little sketchy. Yeah, they got this one here with the spray-painted steampunk revolver that has the, the orange insert, just so you know it's not a real gun, okay? As if all of this didn't tell you that it's not a real gun. And of course, someone's got a puppet. That's really neat. Uh, they found Hulk hands in the janitor's closet. Don't ask why they're in the janitor's closet. He doesn't like when you ask. And then uh, this lady who was like, I'm the fictional character. Wee! Yeah, it went really well. And then this is the game that they're working on up here with um, these individuals. Yeah. These are characters in a game. You bet. So there's a vow for you. Uh, feel free to check it out, feel free to just ignore it, or continue to uh, deal with this guy who thinks that uh, there's too many white people in gaming and he wants to make sure that not only his peers are replaced, but also himself. That's a level of uh, Fruit Loop I'm just not prepared to process this morning. So you let me know down in the comments below, though, what you think about all this, but I think Obsidian's over with. I think a vow is going to come out, it's going to sink them, and then they're going to get closed down and cannibalized by the Microsoft studio. So that's what's going to happen. I, I'm not trying to predict the future, but we've kind of seen how this thing goes. Anyway, you let me know how you feel about this down in the comments below. Maybe you guys know more about this than I do. What do you think about Elon starting a video game company? Do you think he'll base something off of Mars, like a, like a uh, fallout out on Mars? But uh, who knows? Good luck out there.